we've got. All right, seems to be recording. Oh, hang on. Sorry about this, guys and girls. The microphone's halfway across the room, yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can move this. Let me move this one. Uh, yeah, guys and girls, welcome back. So if you can actually see what I'm actually doing here, I've got the. Let's just see if I can move this up slightly. You might be able to see this the microphone. Anyway, so this is me just talking into the microphone here. Might be able to actually move this uh, a little bit because I don't want to get this microphone in the way. There we go. Make it look professional. I've got this attached to my desk. So anyway, guys and girls, so if you can hear the clear uh, voice, uh, the audio, this is me using my condenser microphone. So anyway, so what I wanted to show you today is what I actually got through the door this morning. I think it was like, what's that? Seven, eight, ten o'clock, something like that when it came through the door this morning. Anyway, this is the F910 2A. That's what this code it is. It's got a code on the box. So I don't know if you guys can be able to see it and girls. So we can focus that in. There we go. Good camera lens as well. This is the 16 to 50 uh, millimeter by Sony. This is an official camera lens. Came with the actual camera when I bought the uh, Alpha 6300. Fantastic camera, by the way. I do enjoy it. Um, there is actually, if you guys and girls have trouble where it focuses in and out sometimes and it constantly does that, you need to go into your drive mode. Now, if you press the button where you've got the ISO and settings, there should be a button where it's a quick button on the side of the camera or at the back of the camera. You press the back of the camera, it should be at the top right hand corner. There's like a little button. Oh, let me have a look at the second one. Let's see what it is. Right. If you go, uh, I've got mine on manual, the focus is on uh, sort of like um, uh, auto continuous, so that means it's really good and it just keeps hit nice and steady. If you have it on AFS, um, that's for like sort of shots, but it doesn't, it like goes out of focus, so change it to AFC, I think it's called, auto focus continuous, so continuously um like focuses it in for you really good actually this one I'm getting really good uh, sort of picture on here now i bought this a couple of days going back because i bought the uh the actual adapter it comes with it i think it was like uh for the it's a telescope to a sony camera lens um sort of adapter you put the adapter on and then you get the um lens which is the barlow lens now I wanted one of these, I don't know how crystal clear this picture will be, um, but I paid enough for it, I think I've paid about 15, 16 quid for this one here. It's actually solid metal actually, so it's really full on uh, metal. I don't know if it's made of fully glass, so glass is usually better. Um, looks like glass. Uh, looks like fully glass. So look. <laughs> so basically, this is a. I've not actually seen one of these. Uh, I, I presume it's optical zoom. Uh, or air time stint on it. But you can get five times closer. This is the Barlow lens. It's by SV Boney or Bonnie. So I don't know if you guys and girls will be able to see the name on it. So let's see if we can. Can we get focus? Um, there we go. S V Bonnie. This is a Barlow lens. Now the Barlow lens, basically you'll get the adapter. Uh, which is the converter and then you'll get the one it attaches on to the so basically the adapter the two times adapter will attach onto the camera itself and then this will attach onto the main base one and then you'll get another one that goes to the 
Barlow lens to the telescope and you'll be able to see through it and because there's no autofocus when you're doing this it turns off the autofocus so you still you'll have to manually focus it in yourself the ISO should be still there so you can crank up the ISO on it and I believe the seconds should be still there theoretically I'm gonna have to do a little demonstration but I do have my um, Nikon D3200 in there so I might try on that as well and then probably when I get my rest of my equipment which should be tomorrow Monday uh, the 18th because I've ordered it and, uh, one was this came today on the 17th and then the other one will be the 18th tomorrow so Monday and then I've got some filters coming I've got a moon filter which is supposed to supposed to keep the density of the moon light so it keeps it nice and steady so if it's too bright you should be able to see it theoretically nice and closer this I mean I clear and all that this here just actually is like sort of a telescope lens uh, sort of uh, attachment to it it just makes the distance a bit quicker and longer I would like to see a Barlow lens at 20 times 30 times maybe even 70 times closer can you imagine how close you could get to the stars um, at night time if they made some bigger ones I do have a two times adapter downstairs which I got from my telescope um, and that one come is similar to this one but this one here it's just a standard one it's made of pure metal this is five times closer the uh, zoom on it so it's pretty cool but anyway I'm gonna finish this one off so I got this on the day of my birthday today because I'm 32 today um, years old so yeah so I got that this morning wanted to get that but anyway guys and girls if you enjoyed this episode uh, and you want me to demonstrate this on video and do a video maybe a couple of days got a full moon coming anyway soon so that should be awesome and what I'll do what I'll actually do is I'll put my lens finder in there for now in this little box and I'll put that on top of the shelf just here so that way I won't lose it because uh, I have an intendency to actually lose things if I put some small objects behind. So I'll put all my camera equipment and stuff like in a bag. Just keep it all together nice and clean and tidy and all that. But anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next episode. And I'll probably do in the next few days do some demonstration videos on it. But yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Stay safe. Hopefully this is a nice clear sort of picture. You see, if I put um, the continuous... Um, on like the auto continuous it gets a nice clear picture it stays in focus so and it's like follows me around as well still keeps it in nice and focus so as my sort of face detection and all that anyway stay safe all cheers for watching and i'll see you on the next episode